We're doing a Sephora haul. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Tiffany and I talk about all things lifestyle, fashion, beauty, home, wellness, all the things that I love. And today we are doing a mini Sephora haul. So I needed to re-up on a few things. I was running out of all of my products and I was like, let me just go to Sephora, let me see what they had. And I forgot that they had same day shipping. I ordered everything very last minute. I had a 10 minute window to qualify for the same day shipping. I had put everything in my cart the night before and then the day after I just went into my cart, hit checkout, and then I got everything within maybe two and a half, three hours. I'm gonna go through my products and show you what I restocked on. And then I'm gonna show you a few things that I decided to try out as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I wanna talk to you guys about is this Kadali Beauty Elixir Spray. If you guys have been on Instagram this weekend, everyone's been joking that Drake, Drake's skincare routine because he did a, he did a mini day in my life video. Everyone is raving about this one. And um, I've been using this for a few years. Obviously I try out different products as well. So I thought, let me just get this. This is the mini. The mini lasts a very long time and I, I love it. So I decided to restock on this. Next up is this Ula Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. Now this product, if you have oily skin and you love exfoliating your skin, I exfoliate maybe three times a week, but this product is amazing. It leaves your skin very smooth. What's really good about exfoliating is it gets rid of all the dead skin. And if you're someone that deals with hyperpigmentation like I do, it's really good to have a scrub in your skincare routine because it helps resurface your skin. It gets rid of all the dead skin cells and it's really good with just keeping your skin an even complexion. So I decided to re-up on this because I've been out of this for maybe five months. So I thought, why not get this? Oh, let me actually show you what it looks like. Yeah, this is it. A little bit goes a long way. It lasts me a very, very long time. And what I like about this as well is when you apply it onto your skin, it has this warming sensation at first, which is why it's called a facial sauna because it does get warm, but it's, it doesn't get hot. It just has like a nice warming effect and I love it. I've had great experience with this. And like I said, this is oily skin friendly. Their entire green line um, of Ula Henriksen is strictly for oily skin girls. So if you're an oily skin girl, guy whatever if you have oily skin if you follow my content i will always recommend oily skin approved products that i have tried and used and can co-sign that is great i've been using my brow pencil from revlon for a few months now because i didn't want to go to sephora to restock but this is the product that i will use if i'm going out for an event it's from benefit it's their goof proof brow pencil this product is by far benefit is a great brand this product is by far one of the best it has a nice angle tip which is great for doing your brows and a little bit goes a long way and it come it goes on very very natural i have the color cool soft black because my brows are dark brown and this one works the best for me but yeah i restocked on this and lastly, in terms of what I restocked on, I restocked on this Ilia concealer. This concealer, I love it. It's perfect. It does the job. The color matches my skin perfectly. I use the color, what color is this? I think it's Nutmeg. Yes, SC4, the color Nutmeg. Here's what it looks like. And I use this under my eyes and also on my skin as well. This concealer is good for the cooler months. When it's the summer, I just use this under my eyes um, because it serves as a highlight. But yeah, I love it. It's amazing. I have no complaints. So these are the four things that I restocked on. And now I'm going to show you what I'm trying out. If you know, you know Topicals is an amazing brand. They're really targeted for women of color black women who deal with hyperpigmentation, like myself. So I've used their faded cream in the past. It's phenomenal. I would use it again. I still have some, but I also wanted to try their brightening and clearing mist. So this is something that you can use on your entire body. For example, if you got a scratch on your leg and it left a dark mark, 
can use this on your leg or your arm, any part of your body to help lighten that blemish. So here's what it says it does. It balances, soothes, and brightens your skin. You're supposed to use it two or three times a week on cleansed, dry skin, and you're supposed to let it dry before using any moisturizer. And so here's what it says on the back. So this is the solution for stubborn marks, scars, and spots. Helps reduce the look of dark patches and discoloration on the go and in hard to reach places. Packed with powerful actives, this mist makes it easy to spray and go so that you can let your worries fade away. Let's see what it looks like. This is the bottle. It's cute. Um, it's a nice amount. It's 3.4 fluid ounces, so you can also travel with this as well in your carry-on. So yeah, I, I'm trying this out. I'll keep you guys posted on my experience because there are some blemishes that I would like to lighten. So I'm hoping that this will work out for me. Next up, since we're talking about hyperpigmentation and discoloration and lightening and brightening, um, I needed, I also ran out of my Kiehl's body moisturizer. So I wanted to try out a new moisturizer and I, I saw this one from Isle of Paris Body. Here's what it looks like. It's their Brilliantly Bright Body Moisturizer for Radiant Skin. It has vitamin C, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. And here's what it says on the back. Our restorative brightening body moisturizer is infused with a powerhouse blend of vitamin C, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. For an illuminated, even skin tone, this fast-absorbing, targeted treatment works over time to improve the appearance of dark spots and dullness for more radiant-looking skin instantly and over time pH balance to encourage healthy skin barrier function, formulated to be gentle yet effective enough for daily use. The vitamin C is to help with visibly brighter and radiant looking skin. The niacinamide helps with providing a smoother texture and a more even skin tone. And the hyaluronic acid is essentially for more hydration. So that three in one is gonna work for me. Like I said, I'm really trying to just have even skin tone all over. So on my face, on my body, all over. So I'm gonna try this out. Let me see what it smells like. Oh, it smells good. So it has fragrance. It smells tropical. I guess if you have sensitive skin, you would have to see if they have a unscented version, but I'm excited to try this out. I'll keep you guys posted on my experience with this as well. And then, all right, two more things. Since we're talking about moisturization, I wanted to try out a new lip treatment. I was looking for lip oils, but I really wanted to try the one from Amicole, but it wasn't available for a same day delivery. I will be trying that out in another time, but Ula Henriksen has this Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. I've heard great things about this. My sister uses this and I tried it and it left my lips so supple, so soft, and it does have a nice gloss and shine as well. So I'll read the back, tell you guys a little bit about it. So it says, glow beyond the bomb. Smooth, soften, and plump your pout with hydration with this overachieving, deliciously nourishing lip treatment. Hardworking peptides meet EFAs and antioxidants to help strengthen and bring bounce back to dry lips. This is exactly what I need, especially since we're in this dry, very cold brick winter weather in New York. I need something on the go that's a bit more impactful than just chapstick. I've been using Aquaphor on my lips recently, which is also really good, but I wanted something that also can provide a long lasting shine, which this does. Let me show you all what it looks like. Here it is. But yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I'll keep you all posted on my progress. And last but not least, so in my last video where I did my five minute makeup routine and how to develop your own five minute makeup routine. I mentioned that I don't really have too many blushes. So I wanted to try something out and I've heard nothing but great things about Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's makeup line. I got this, I got this liquid blush. It's the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush. And I like having a matte look. I don't like glowy, dewy looks. It's not for me. But yeah, I got this one in the color Love. Let's see what the packaging looks like. Very nice packaging. The color doesn't look like it's too bright. 
I like it already. It doesn't look too potent, which I like. I just like a nice, soft, rosy effect. But yeah, that was my mini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, your experience. Leave them all in the comments down below. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me recently. And also let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.